Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating custom exception classes in C++. So you can throw objects of any class in C++, uh, but um, since there is a standard C++ exception class, it probably is a good idea to derive your exception classes from that. Let's take a class called, um, create a class called my exception. This, um, this should have a name appropriate to uh, what it actually um, describes, the error situation that it actually is linked to. So uh, you should call it something that enables you to tell from the name of it what kind of error occurred. But since I, I don't know for this example, I'm going to call it my exception. And let's make that inherit from the class exception, the C++ exception class. Um, now, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it has a problem with this because I'm guessing iostream includes uh, the exception classes, but um, we should really include here, at least to make it explicit, even if it's not necessary in this case, the exception header. This could be called exception.h on your system. Uh, on mine, it's just called exception, um, but it is a normal header file. Uh, as far as I know. And um, here we've got um, using namespace standard because like other standard C++ things, it's in the standard namespace. Now, if we go to Google and we Google for C++ exception, we can find a reference to it and we see that it's got this uh, what method that we've seen previously. So I'm going to override this method. So let's say here public public what. Um, you notice it's got a const throw here. What this actually means is that it means this method cannot throw an exception. It won't throw an exception. And uh, sometimes th that can allow your compiler to optimize your code. If there are, for example, variables being instantiated that are only used if an exception is thrown, and if the compiler sees that an, your method can't throw an exception, so the exception won't be thrown, it, it may be able to optimize away um, uh, variables or bits of code that definitely are never going to be called. But arguably, that's, that's probably bad coding anyway. And uh, in fact, what const throw will do is, is cause your program to halt at, at runtime so um, the, the disadvantages, of, disadvantages of it seem to me to outweigh the advantages and I'd recommend not using it. If your class, if your method does throw exceptions, you can also list the exceptions that it throws here, like bad alloc or, um, I don't know, some other exception here. You can list them. But again, there's no compile time checking there, at least, in, um, at least as far as I know. It's always runtime. Um, uh, unless you're using some funky new compiler in the future. So it seems to me that it's, it's better just, just to not have this here. And a, a lot of people agree with me on that. Um, but nevertheless, I'll put it in here when I'm overriding this what method, just to be sure that I'm really overriding it. Although I suspect not having that in wouldn't, wouldn't actually make any difference. But let's put it in there for consistency. So in, in the what method, we can return a string here. So let's say something bad happened. Of course, this, this should um, tell you exactly what did happen, but since this is a demo program, we can't say. Let's create a class here, class test, I'll call it, which has a method which throws an exception. So let's say void goes wrong. And we'll, we'll just say throw my exception. So, of course, this should only happen if an error is detected. Then we can say here, um, test, test, create a, an object from that class. And we can say try. Let's call test.goeswrong. And we can say catch. And we should catch a reference, of course, to my exception here, as we saw previously. And we can now do cout e.what, like that. So let's see if this works. Hopefully I've not forgotten anything. And it says something bad happened. So pretty easy to define your own exception classes. This, this could also be just a function, of course, 
It doesn't have to be a method. It doesn't have to belong to a class. If, if we said here throw like that and we run it now, so throw with empty brackets means it doesn't throw an exception. And then the fact that we try to throw an exception from a method that is, is said not to throw one results in a runtime error like this, which isn't good. Similarly, we, we could say that it throws bad alloc, implying that it can only throw bad alloc and not anything else. So if it does throw a different exception, again, we, we get a runtime error, not a compile time error. And for that reason, um, I would prefer not to use that. I think it's, it's generally not a good idea, unlike in Java, where there is um, compi compile time checking on what kind of exceptions can be thrown. Okay, so that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, I'd recommend having a go at, throw, at um, creating your own custom exception. Uh, you, you can try it with, with or without the um, deriving from the standard class. Here we're not really making any use of it, but it's probably a good, good practice to do that. Another thing you, you might want to try is if you go to uh, Google here, let's go to google.co.uk, and um, if, you, um, if you search for C++ standard exceptions and you look up some page that lists the C++ standard exceptions or a good selection of them, it's worth trying to see if you can get your program to throw any of these exceptions other than bad alloc, which we've already covered. And if, if you copy any one of them and paste it into Google, it's pretty easy usually to find sample code that um, that shows you how you can throw this exception. You might have to click a few links here. So if I don't get one pretty soon, I'm going to give up. But let, there we go. there we go. There's some sample code. Uh, I I couldn't figure out how to throw any of these with my particular compiler. If I stick to C++ that we've already seen in the beginners course, the free course that preceded this one, or this course. Uh, but if you know more C++, or you may be able, on your compiler, to throw some of these using the C++ that you already know, um, then it's worth trying to see if you can do that. If nothing else, it will get you a bit more familiar with this list of standard exceptions. So that's it for this tutorial, and until next time, happy coding.